We're here. It's not just you that's in for a treat today, it's me too. So in today's video, we've only got and gotten the gold R32 Mark V. This is a bit of a hero car, but a poster car if you're my age in your 30s. Growing up, this R32 was on job. We're gonna find out today, is this car, what, how does it fit into today's world of hot hatches? Is it gonna be somewhere that's gonna go up in value? Is it something that just hasn't aged very well? I mean, come have a look at it. If we're talking about aging well, I think brilliantly. Because the wheels, split dish BBSs, still look on point. The color, this color made this R32, in my opinion. Um, it's got a few upgrades, namely the exhaust. But the thing is, with, this, with these R32s, the biggest when you were behind them and you saw those exhausts. Because the moment you saw those exhausts, yeah, you knew what you were playing with. Two standout features of this car. Back end, front end. Back end, because of those exhausts. The moment you saw these exhausts when you were a kid, you saw this car on the motorway, uh, the first thing you knew is, Holy crap, it's an R32. Obviously, it's got the badge, so... But these exhausts, and also, these exhausts are not... Excuse the fact that one's dangling because it needs some exhaust work, but literally the size of my fist. You're not ready for how nuts this sounds. There's an Insta360 here for a reason. The R32 front end has a very distinctive grill. Badge. Other than that, you'd be forgiven for not knowing what you were looking at. That's what sort of makes it cool because it's a hot hatch, a pocket rocket, and for its time it was a V6 powerhouse, but it was still quite understated. Let's drive it and find out. It probably isn't because of these exhausts. Coupled with this exhaust, um, I think this will make for some interesting driving. That exhaust is loud, loud. This is nice and refined. Yeah, yeah. It's comfortable. The suspension is firm, yet supple, if that makes sense. Because it is a fairly forgiving suspension. Yeah. yeah. I'm not feeling every jolt or boat lead. I'm not feeling everything come through to my bones. Uh, but that being said, the chassis seems tight. Mm, like, if it happened to bend nice. Let's get it, it out. Let's get nice, it in yeah. sports. Yeah. Let's go and find ourselves some proper bends. saying this car is slow.
was uh, something a little bit, little bit special. That was dangerous. <laughs> that was a little bit dangerous. Um, all right, let's see how it goes off the line. I'm just going to shout out when it's 60. So Kiki put a timer up here. Three, two, and one, go! this with another Golf R32 Mark V that doesn't have the blow of all blows in the exhaust. This is a more refined car. This does have, personal opinion, a better exhaust note even with that horrendous blow. Um, but it doesn't have the power, it doesn't have the agility, um, and as we just found out, it doesn't even have the acceleration. So this came out with a quoted 0 to 60 of 6. Four, I think it is. That came out with a 0 to 60 of 6.5, I think it was. Well, they've both been stage one tuned and he left me. He left the car, he didn't leave me. I'm a great driver. <laughs> I have been hampered today by this vehicle. It's not my fault. I'm F, I do stuff. 
this has been the Golf R32 review slash EP3 versus Mark V R32. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. All the social platforms are F does stuff, all one word. Until the next one, peace.